Whew. Let's see, this is like a marathon session. I don't know how long I've been playing. This game can get pretty addicting, so you can end up playing for long periods without realizing how long you've been sitting there. Let's make another sword. Do I have enough stone? I should. I'm just going to pick it up out of my inventory here. Out of my chest. I'll go ahead and duke 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 duke. Put down some of these. Make two swords, how about that? Then we don't have to come back and do this again later. There we go. Come here, you. So we'll just stick a couple of these away. Well, that one's about to break, so I'll hang on to it. We need to replace these tools, too. So let's go ahead and uh, make better versions of the axe and the... Uh, is that the hoe? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put these here. We'll grab some sticks. So we'll make first an axe, and then a hoe. Very nice. So as our wooden tools run out, we'll switch to our stone ones. Now, most enemies die when the sun comes out. They they burn up. You can actually see them on fire occasionally if you happen to go outside and, and spot them. But uh, some enemies, uh, like spiders, sometimes won't die. And creepers almost, uh, almost always survive the sun coming up. I'm not really sure what the probabilities are and all that, but, you know, everything's kind of random in this game, so you just can't predict it sometimes. Come here, you don't want your skin. Look at all the cows. Now, cows are kind of a pain in this game for an elf here, because they're so loud. Yeah, my sword just ran out, so we'll switch to our new one. Get out of here. All right. Whoa. Do you hear that music just then? Jeez. That's creepy, dude. Alright, so I want to gather some wood, because I want to build the Narthex. What is the Narthex, you say? Well, uh, you'll find out shortly. If you don't know the word, uh, look it up. Go on dictionary.com or whatever. Go f we'll learn about what a Narthex is, and then we'll you'll see shortly uh, what my Narthex is going to be. And I'm going to need a lot of wood to make it. So I'll see you guys... Uh, in a little bit. Okay, where was I? That is the question. I have no idea what I was set out to do. Hmm. Let's see, judging from my inventory, I was going to go get sand, which seems like a fairly good goal for right now. I normally don't carry around multiple shovels. Hey, there's my spawn shelter. Wow, oh, the whole thing is getting covered in snow now. Yeah, the torches are definitely melting the snow. I'm definitely seeing a correlation here. Alright, so let's just dig out the sand from around here and pick a bunch of it up. Because we're going to... Oh, snowball. <laughs> forgot about that. So yeah, we were facing towards this area when we spawned, and so I, I generally point myself in the direction that I'd like to go when I start playing again. Because it helps me remember what I was doing when uh, I last played. You know, like I finished a, a session of playing Minecraft. I, I want to be able to remember what I was up to the next time I come back and I start playing. Uh, and so basically, I just point myself in the right direction, literally. Oh, and I figured out uh, an interesting way to prevent myself from looking like a cow. And I don't mean just avoiding vertical stripes. I mean, uh, not being connected to the internet means that my downloaded skin doesn't load. And so I'd look like a normal person. This is the general sprite that you'll get if you only play offline. It's just like the basic blockhead design. And so I don't look like a cow anymore. Hooray! And it also means that I don't get like fraps recording uh, other things going on at the same time, like in the background, because it records the Windows sound. Because I do play on a Windows machine, and, uh, and so like if I get like an email or something in the background, it'll like it'll record the sound of like ping, of, like the email arriving or or whatever else. All right, well that's, my shovels are out, so I'm just gonna head back home now. I'm gonna kill some cows on the way there because we need to be working on getting some uh, supplies from these guys. Oh, shut up! Get over here, you. Oh, did he give us anything? Yeah, it looks like he gave us one piece of leather. Eh, we'll take it. All right, so let's see. What is our next objective? I think we need to proceed with digging our spiral staircase. I got a, a little to-do list that's actually not in front of me right now, but I, I wrote it today, of uh, 10, actually no, it was 12 things that I want to do in this LP. And some of them are big building projects, other things are just fun little things that'll take like three minutes. But I have 12 things that I want to do, 
And I'm basically just going to do my own thing for those 12 until uh, they run out, and then I'll start looking at you guys' suggestions. And the first of the 12 things that I want to do... Let's close our doors. I don't know why I left them open when I left. But, uh, got our paintings. That's nice. The first of the 12 things that I want to do is finish this staircase. So I want to work my way all the way up to the top of the mountain. And so I'm going to cut back in uh, whenever interesting, anything interesting happens. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Oh, what am I doing doing this while nothing else is going on? Silly. Uh, the reason we got that sand is so that we could uh, melt down the sand to make some... Uh, or did we already do that? I'm not sure. Let's look. We haven't. Well, wrong button, dude. No, we haven't actually got around to it yet, have we? Oh, no, we have. We've made some glass. Okay, well, I'm just going to make, you know, whatever else is left uh, in glass. So we'll, we'll just we'll just keep that running while I'm digging this staircase. And eventually there will be rooms going off of this staircase, so, so it won't be too monotonous to climb up and down over and over. Something else that's going on, uh, sort of as like a background task right now, is that one of the things that I want to build uh, or make is actually a very large project, and so we're going to get to a point where I need about 1,300 uh, blocks of cinder block, or not cinder block, but cobblestone, I mean, of these ones here, I have in slot 8, these pieces. I'm going to need about 1,300 of those for one of my projects, and I'll need more for other uses. And so basically, that's about 20 squares in your inventory. And so if you can imagine, just basically fill up these first two rows and then a couple more slots. And that's how much uh, stone we're going to need to make one of my uh, larger projects. And you see, we've already got a little pile building up, but the stuff that I'm collecting digging this tunnel is going to add to that significantly. So move all the stuff that we picked up into the storage here. Oh, jeez. Holy moly. I almost just got squished. Oh, yeah. So that's one of the things about gravel is that it does obey gravity, and if you dig out a square that's above you and there's gravel on top of that square, you're going to have gravel falling on your head, and that's generally bad. So you never want to dig or mine straight up. It's always a bad idea, because if you run into a patch of gravel like that and you're digging straight up, two pieces of gravel fall on top of your head, one falls, you're fine. You're just going to take some damage. You can still move out to the side and escape. Two of them fall on your head, you're squished. You're, you're just going to die. I mean, there's just no way to get out of it. So watch out for that, and don't ever dig or mine straight up. Ah, we seem to have run into some coal here in our uh, attempts to dig out this staircase, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine out all this coal. Uh, I'm going to just basically go past it for a second here as I f keep working on the stairs. And then I'm going to turn around and get the coal after I've already dug out the skeleton of the staircase. That way I know where the staircase is going to be. And I don't have to worry about uh, where I can and can't dig for the coal. Just to make things a little bit easier on myself. So now that I've got the staircase cut out right there, I can go ahead and drop my next torch. And then we'll turn around and pick up this coal. And I'll just fill this in with cinder block, or uh, cobblestone I mean. Shouldn't be a problem. Do you guys hear that? It's on walking around. Stop now. Yeah, it's a pig. I hear it squealing now. That means we're close to the surface. That's good news. Almost there. Oh man, how funny would it be if I was mining through here and I had a pig fall through the one of the holes I dug? Like I look up and there's sunlight and then a pig falls in. God, that would be great. <laughs> Ah, we hit dirt. That's good. I think it means we're getting near the surface now. That and the incessant squealing of the pig. Actually, it's more snorting at this point, but, you know, he's getting there. So the torch goes here. And we're going to get a shovel for digging out some of this. I'm wondering how far it is until we actually hit uh, the surface here. I feel like we're getting pretty close. And remember that dirt is one of those uh, things that does not obey gravity, so you don't have to worry about uh, going around underneath dirt because it's not going to fall down on your head. Now, if you dig through dirt and there's sand on top of it, which is totally possible if you're digging under the ocean, uh, then you can get screwed because the sand will fall in and smash you. Or worse yet, your cave will uh, fill in with water. Like if I were digging up underneath an ocean right now, I could easily break through to the surface and uh, run right into water. I'm out of torches and half steps. I'm going to restock. 
Did I, did I mention this when I picked it up? I don't think I did. This is flint, uh, this piece here. I'm going to drop it so you guys can see what it looks like. But, uh, whoop, there it is. That's a flint. We can use that as an arrowhead. And so uh, I'm going to keep that up here. You find flint when you dig through gravel. That's where you uh, it'll appear. It's one of the things that gravel drops. Sometimes gravel will drop, mm, excuse me, a block of gravel like this. And other times it will drop a piece of flint. And we can actually... Uh, do I have any feathers? I don't have any feathers, do I? I need to start collecting feathers from the chickens. Alright, back to work. Whoa, I just heard a skeleton. Oh, I didn't occur to me that although we are digging out into safety uh, from what I would presume because we're digging out up to where I can hear cows and such, hearing that skeleton is kind of a reminder for me that we are digging up to the surface and if it's nighttime out there, we could run into some trouble here. Because we got skeletons, from what it sounds like, right above our head. I'm sick of running up and down to go to use that workbench, and so I'm just actually going to make another one here. So this is our second workbench. I'm just going to put it right here. So I can go ahead and make my room, rest of my tools without having to go back down. Oh, look at that! Dirt! That means we've reached the surface. Oh, and snow, too. Look at that. Yeah, so this is the wall here. This is where the staircase is going to pop out. And so I'd like to wait until daytime to do this. But I'm not entirely sure what time it is at all. I have no, I have no way of telling what time it is without... Oh, look, it's daytime. Okay, cool. Let's proceed, then. Let's, let's go ahead and polish off these last couple steps. So we have nice half steps put in here. And we'll just... Oop, i got to cut out more of the ceiling, don't I, so I can... Don't hit my head on those half steps. Ah, and here we are. We pop right out of the side of a mountain. Appears safe. There's that pig. Bacon! Come here, you. Oh, no bacon for us. It's just sheep. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be good. Come here, you. Move over here. You can just push the animals if you want to. <laughs> just kick them right off the edge. Minecraft! Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. Stupid sheep. Alright, so, yeah, we've popped out of the top of the mountain up here. So let's take a look around. This is the one... We don't attach to that piece over there, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So you see there's a bit of a canyon here in between the two of these. And that's one of the torches I... One of the trees I put a torch on, and that's the other tree I put a torch on right there. So the entrance to our house is down... Uh, careful now. Right down there. See our torches? So our door, we're standing right above our, our nave right now. And our exit pops out... How far down the mountain does it pop out? I've lost track of it now. Uh-oh, where'd it go? <laughs> there we are, there's the door. Let's put some torches here, actually, because we really don't want things to be spawning around here once nighttime falls. Alright, so there's our exit. That's, that's not so bad, actually, uh, for where to put the exit. So I have plans for the top of this place uh, a bit later. But the point now is that we have a means of going from up here to a... Uh, whoa, cow just jumped off the edge. You see him flashing red. He hurt himself. We have a means of getting from down there to on top of this uh, platform, which we had never been on top of before. So this is actually... Uh, I like this quite a bit. This is pretty good. I like the view from up here, too, all the snow. I'm still not used to having a snowy world, but I suppose we'll get used to it eventually. Alright, so let's head back uh, down. I know you guys are just like, Oh, why'd you spend a whole episode digging a staircase if you're not going to do anything with it? Well, I just wanted it to be here, and more than anything else, I've needed that stone to eventually build that large uh, stone project that I mentioned. That's going to require 20 inventory slots worth, about 1,300 stone. Yeah, you can tell this is actually a fairly tall uh, staircase that we dug through here. And I will go back, and I'll, I'll put some signs in to indicate, you know, 10 floors left. Six floors left, whatever. So we'll get to that eventually. I'll do that off camera. So let's see. What's next? <laughs> what else was on my list of things to do? We need a mine shaft. That is just like the hard and uh, true nature of things that we need to be able to dig through uh, the ground and go down and find good resources, useful resources. Uh, and generally, the better, the deeper you go, the better stuff you're going to find. Uh, once you're there. And so we need to figure out where we want to put 
the mine shaft because I want it to be right here underneath our house since we already have a depth. Basically, we already have depth put in. Wait, let me see if I can figure out where the skylight needs to go. Yeah, spoilers, I'm putting in a skylight. That's why I wanted the staircase to be there, because it's going to become a skylight very shortly. That's also why we made such a large amount of glass. Look at that. Alright, we don't need to do that. Come back here, you. So we have 64 units of glass, that's nice. 